नमस्ते टू ऑल आई जेजेन रमेश कुमार डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एथिलम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम ब्यूटी विद्यापीठ होम यूनिवर्सिटी टोक्यो टुडे आवर सेशन इज हार्डवेयर एंड सॉफ्टवेयर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू विल अंडरस्टैंड इट्स अ वेरी कॉमन टॉपिक इट्स अ वेरी गुड टॉपिक व्हाट वी कैन डू इज हार्डवेयर मींस सिंपल थिंग व्हिच कैन बी फिजिकली टच so hardware which is the physical elements of the computer this is also sometimes called the machinery or the equipment of the computer example of hardware in a computer are the keyboard the monitor the mouse and the central processing unit however most of computers hardware cannot be seen in other words it is an external element of the computer so software means hardware means which can be physically touched software means which cannot be physically touched but we can see and not any changes not touch physically so now but whether in internal one surrounded by the computers is in tower the computer hardware is comprised of many different parts but perhaps the most important of these is the motherboard in computer hardware uh, motherboard is a uh, very important the motherboard is made up of the more parts that power and control the computer so all the chips all the ic and all the uh, uh, physical devices uh, small physical devices like ic and uh, uh, placed on the keyboard and connected to the system so now in contrast to software hardware is physical entity hardware and software are interconnected without software the hardware of a computer would have no function so what in contrast to software hardware is a physical entity hardware and software are interconnected without software the hardware of a computer would have no function however without the creation of hardware to perform tasks directed by software by a central processing unit software is would be useless hardware is limited to a specific design task that are taken independently very simple software implements algorithms problems solution that allow the computer to complete much more So hardware is limited. It is limited to specific design tasks that are taken independently. Very simple. The sim software implements algorithms, problem solution that allows the computer to complete much more simple tasks. So now software, software commonly known as program, set of program, set of instructions, set of operations, consists of all the instructions that tell the hardware how to perform the task. the software tell that how the performance task is instruction come from software developer in the form that will be accepted by the platform that is system basically that they are based on example a program that is designed for the windows operating system which only work for that specific operating system compatibility of software will vary as the design of the software and operating system Differ. Software that is designed for Windows XP may experience a compatibility issue when running under the Windows 2000. Now, software is capable of performing many tasks as opposed to hardware, which can only perform mechanical tasks that they are designed for. Software provides the means for accomplishing many different tasks that the same basic hardware. Practical computer system divide software system into two major pieces. What does software is capable of performing many tasks? It is capable of performing tasks as opposed to hardware, which can only perform mechanical tasks that they are designed for. Software provides the means for accomplishing many different tasks with the same basic hardware. Practical computer system divides software system into two major classes. Okay, 
So thank you to all. Thank you like the video, share my video, comment my video, and you can subscribe my video. So it is very important.